What's up? Real quick, meet Cap uh, over the, this past weekend of the event we had at Wrigley Field. First off, I want to give a shout out once again uh, to my sponsors and the supporters that uh, support me and inspire me to continue to carry on. Um, meet Recap. I couldn't ask for a better setup. Um, you know, everything was great. The weather was great leading up to the event. Everything felt well. Um, not really had any issues uh, besides, you know, being a little underweight, but I gained the weight back. That wasn't an issue. I came home and weighed in at uh, 4.56. So I know that weight wasn't an issue. Did I gain it too fast? Who knows? But um, again, there's no excuses. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do what I said I was going to do. And that hurts deeply. Uh, you know, when it's over with and you don't succeed at that battle, what I call battle, not the war, the war is still ongoing, but that battle that I lost over the weekend, it takes a lot out of you, man. Um, we put so much time and effort, time away from our families, training, um, just training basically until, you know, your body is basically beat to a pulp week after week after week and during those gym sessions I'm um, on top of that traveling to different places uh, you know shooting content a lot of it man it, it, it's tough I'm just in a weird season uh, where most people that are in my shoes they're just competing um, you know and I'm trying to build you know this social media presence trying to build the brand and compete at the same time and it just there's a lot within that you know so Again, um, leading up to the meet, everything was great. The day of, I felt great. I felt confident. You know, the even from warming up, uh, everything was firing on all cylinders. You know, had all my bros there. Uh, warm ups from I jumped from basically red to red. So once I got to six. I think it was like 673, something around there, and press that weight. That's kind of a, a telltale sign when I know I'm going to have a good day. And uh, press the 673, uh, you know, speed rep, then uh, 723, the same thing. 723 was mind blowing how fast, it, maybe 734, I think it was. 734, 737, whichever one it was, was mind blowing how fast that moved off the chest. So therefore it set me up for my third attempt, which I knew seriously when that bar was in my, when TD lifted the, lifted the bar into my hands and I felt that 800.3 pounds, it didn't shock me like it usually does. Usually I'm like, whoa, this is, this is heavy. Just put it this way. The weight is so heavy when you have 800 plus pounds in your hand that I can feel the bar. I could feel the bar wrapping around my, like my palm. Like I can literally feel the bar bending in my hands. So with that being said, uh, some issues that we identified that may be some weak points for me, uh, possibly uh, making sure I need to make sure I maintain back tightness, building my back because your back is a, is, is a your back is a launching pad for a big bench press. That's where all your stabilizers are. The more stable you are with the weight, the more fluently the weight will move, which we know that if the weight's not moving fluent, opens up air, meaning there's more opportunity for misgrooves and for you to lose your um, natural or your your bench form, which again could cause to, uh, to lead to a mislift. Um, so, uh, you know, identifying the weak parts, uh, forearms could be a weakness. We noticed that my wrists were, were kind of gravitating back, uh, bending a little bit. Um, and I think overall, it's just I need to cut out on travel so much. Um, I'm traveling a lot nowadays, and I need to just, you know, pick or choose. Either business or comp competition. One or the other. Uh, it's... And I'm not saying forever. I'm saying for another eight to 12 weeks, whenever I figure out what, what the next steps, what I'm going to do. I don't know yet. I'm re everything that I thought I was going to do leading up to this point. We're revamping everything. We're back to the drawing board. So 
some of the obligations that I thought I was going to be doing, I'm no longer doing because the only thing on my mind right now is breaking 800 pounds. That's it. That is it. 800 pound bench press. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do that. So we're taking a step back, looking at everything, seeing what's going to add to and what's going to take away. And one thing is traveling too much that I need to work on um, being a little more scheduled and routine when it comes to um, traveling and training. So, again, weak points, um, upper back, forearms, um, and I need to do some core work. But other than that, everything that we identified that we've seen from many different camera angles and many different observations is that these shouldn't be anything too crazy to fix. Like, we're talking not immediate, but with time, uh, a block, a nice block, training block that we should be we should be in the money so basically that's what it is um again I, mentally i'm okay uh i was down look at the biggest the, the hardest impact that hit me was you know seeing my little girls disappointed that i didn't get the lift you know everything else all the hate on 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 instagram and and youtube and all these places where people are just saying that i'd never get it that's fine. I can deal with that. But whenever I see it um, affecting me and mine on a on a on a level of family or personal level, um, it's almost like uh, another uh, uh, motivator to to get this and make this happen. So again, I'm thankful for all you guys. Appreciate the support. Um, again, the marathon continues. The road to 800 is still on, and uh, I'll get back with you guys as I. You know, journey into this. I don't know what's next for me right now as far as competitions or what I'm going to do. I'm just back to the drawing board and we're about to start. We're about to hit, get back in the lab and start making some music. We're about to start making some music in the gym, literally. So I appreciate you guys. Um, peace.